Did you know that algae and trees were the first forms of life on Earth five million years ago? It was because they produced oxygen that human beings could evolve so quickly. Today, there are billions of people inhabiting our planet and our living environment has undergone many changes. Do we still need trees? Absolutely! After all, the algae in the oceans and the trees on land produce the largest percentage of oxygen on Earth. And we can't live without oxygen. They also absorb CO2 from the air. This is a good thing, because the increasing emission of greenhouse gases is releasing so much CO2 into the atmosphere that the result is an acceleration of global warming. By absorbing CO2, trees are slowing this process immediately. And did you know that a large part of the fine dust we produce is filtered out of the air by trees? This means they're making the air a lot healthier. But this isn't all. A single tree supports the lives of more than 250 species of plants and animals and so contributes to biodiversity. For instance, with its pollen, bee colonies can pollinate other plants and keep them reproducing. Furthermore, trees provide a natural cooling effect, enhance good drainage, serve as a shelter from the wind and make people happier. Happier? Absolutely! Because we are more creative, more involved with others and more active when we are surrounded by trees. So we also smile more often and are less often sick. When you think about it, trees are really fantastic. But all over the world, even in the Netherlands, the number of trees is declining. The trees that remain can no longer deal with our CO2 emissions. Couldn't we reverse this trend? Yes, we can. In the middle of Brabant in the Netherlands, there are many people who know how important trees are. These are the people who run the nurseries of Greenport Midden Brabant. They really want to change things around and make the world a greener place. They apply 100% sustainable methods to let young trees grow to make them useful for fulfilling their important work elsewhere. This is actually making the middle of Brabant a green cradle for both the Netherlands and other countries. They also collaborate with artists and designers to devise new ways to make our world greener. In this way, more people can understand how important trees are for a safe, healthy and attractive living environment. After all, we wouldn't even be here without plants. What would you do to make our world greener?